I believe it was negligent of the grandmother to leave these children with the daughter that she just took the children from. But as you see right now, Bullhorn Betty is in front of this house. And as you see here, there is plenty of places for me to set up my chairs, my tents, my signs, everything. So again, we're here at Quentin Simon's home. Um, not sure what we're gonna do yet, but I am here right now and I do. We're here at Quentin Simon's home. Um, not sure what we're gonna do yet, but I am here right now and I do plan on doing something to help this out, help this boy out. I see. Oh, hello YouTube. As you see behind me, this is Quentin Simon's home. This is where Quentin Simon disappeared from um, several days ago. He has not been seen. We just found out from a news report right here in Savannah, Georgia, that they have. Law enforcement has found new evidence. New evidence can be a number of things from information related to the disappearance. It could be digital evidence. It could be a number of things, text messages, phone calls, number of things, text messages, phone calls, the tracking services we have on Google and other places. They believe that, that there is something definitely that definitely happened here. We watched just the other day them tape up the windows. I am confident, confident that they did luminol testing inside this very home. places for me to set up my chairs, my tents, my signs, everything. So again, we're here at Quentin Simon's home. Um, not sure what we're going to do yet, but I am here right now and I do plan on doing something to help this out, help this boy out. I see poles up here. I brought flyers and everything else. I would like to know from the neighbors what they believe happened in this home. Apparently, from what we're hearing, this place here was a hot mess. People drive very fast. This is a dangerous road, uh, especially for a 20-month-old child that's unattended. But again, we are now live in front of Quentin Simon's home. I will be reporting from here most of the day as I make my rotations to find what truly happened. God bless us. You know, this is all because of you guys, the coffee club, the Bullhorn Betty channel. We're able to report right from here and I'm going to be here. I want to see Leilani come out in handcuffs. I really believe the grandma should come out in handcuffs. These children should have never been left with Leilani or Daniel for that matter. God bless us. You know, this is all because of you guys, the coffee club, the Bullhorn Betty channel, we're able to report right from here and I'm going to be here. I want to see Leilani come out in handcuffs. I really believe the grandma should come out in handcuffs. These children should have never been left with Leilani or Daniel for that matter. Um, I am friends now with the babysitter. So hopefully maybe today uh, she'll be willing to talk to me. Um, I hope she knows that I would like to ask her questions. However, I do not believe she is responsible. for a 20-month-old child that's unattended. But again, we are now live in front of Quentin Simon's home. I will be reporting from here most of the day as I make my rotations to find out what truly happened. God bless us. You know, this is...
you know it's hard.